In this video, we're going to show a demo of how one can use our Actable AI Google Sheet add-on to do a time series forecasting with multiple time series. So here is an example data set of my sharings. Uh, the data set has a column of days where the data are and different columns including whether it's a holiday, is that a weekday or a working day, or the temperature, normal light temperature at the point in time, the humidity, the wind speed, number of casual user, number of registered user, etc. Now we want to use all the information to forecast the buy share demand in the next 30 days. So one can after open Active AI add on, then you choose time series forecasting. Time series forecasting, you choose the column that indicates the date time, and then you choose which columns are used for the forecast. So, you choose the columns that can help with the, the forecasting, that the information from this column can be used to predict the future. So, here I'm going to choose. holiday, whether the day is a holiday or not. You don't need to choose weekday because the model will automatically infer that. Working day, no need for that. Temperature of the day, um, humidity recorded in the day, wind speed, number of casual user, number of registered user, total cows, you can just remove one of that. Um, then indicate how far in the future as we want to forecast let's say 30 days in advance number of trials where trials in number of different models are trained and validated the best model will be picked to generate the forecast here yeah, then choose a maximum number of trials which is 20. And then you click run then at the yi we build 20 different models in the back and then we pick the best model and combine or combine them together to generate a forecast. So here, after the model, the training finish, it will generate two sheets. The first sheet is the validation sheet. So the idea of validation is that use historical data to validate how well the model um, performed with historical data. So this validation data will not use for training model. Remember. So more validation data will not use the trending model. So here is the forecast of the temperature in the next uh, 30 days. The humidity level. Uh, we also see the range, which is a 90% confidence interval. Uh, so 90% of the time that the model thinks that the real value will fall into is this range. We see the prediction of the number of casual users and the number of uh, registered users. Now this is validation and we see different metric here. This is the mean absolute percentage error, basically uh, how far the prediction is from the real values in, uh, in, in percentage. Um, so that is validation. The real forecast is generated here in this sheet. Um, as here you can see that uh, here is a generated forecast for different time series that we uh, choose in the menu and um, this one shows the forecast for all the selected time series and below we have the forecast for each of the time series individual, individual. So in this video, I show you with a few click, you can generate a time series forecasting for multiple multivariate time series, and how the results are displayed. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.